Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to find the derivative of this function f of x equals the natural log of x squared. So this is the way the problem was originally written and you know, if you like you can insert parentheses here just for some added clarity. So it's kind of implied. So there's a rule, it's called the power rule uh, for logs and it says whenever you have an exponent on an x like this you can just bring it down and put it in the front. So before we take the derivative, let's do that. So I'm going to take the 2 and just bring it down. So we have f of x and that's equal to 2 times the natural log of x. Just bringing it down, bringing down that 2. And now we'll go ahead and take the derivative. So the 2 is a constant, and it's in front of a function of x. So when we take the derivative, um, the 2 will just hang out. So f prime of x is equal to, so the 2. And then the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. It's a formula, so times 1 over x. And that's pretty much it. I guess we could put the 2 up top, so let's do that. So f prime of x. So 2 times 1 is 2. So you have 2 over x. It's really 2 over 1, right? So really you're multiplying. 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times x is x. So just to be really, really clear. Um, we didn't have to do it this way. You know, you could take the derivative all at once uh, using the chain rule. Let's just go ahead and do it. It takes a second. So let's say you don't do it this way. Let's say instead you just want to take the derivative. Well, you can. So the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. Here's the natural log of x squared. So it's 1 over x squared. And then times the derivative of the inside. That's the chain rule. So the derivative of x squared is 2x. So 2x. And then what happens is you, you lose an x, and so you just get 2 over x. So two different ways to um, do the same problem. Which one is better? I think it's just a personal opinion. <laughs> I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.